Don. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. So we just wanted to get some information from you today, if you don't mind telling the residents a little bit about yourself. Great. Uh, my name is Don Morse, and I have had the privilege on serving the board in a previous tenure for eight years, both the GCA and the RVA board. And um, I'm happy to be able to volunteer my services and expertise to the community of Greyhawk once again. I've been a resident of Greyhawk for 20 years and a resident of Phoenix for 38 years. That's great. So, uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and start asking questions. Fine. Um, Don, can you tell us what you feel is the most important issue for the Greyhawk Community Association in the next year? I think because we are a very dynamic community, but an aging community, we need to be very well aware of the fiscal restraints of that aging on our community. What is it going to take to maintain the community as we know it in the future as we age, as well as compliance issues, property value and community aesthetics? All of those things are wrapped up into how we spend our money. And finally, what the surrounding area development is going to be. Um, in the beginning, we were very, very careful about our surrounding development. And I believe as the community is exploding around us, we need to pay a lot of attention to that as well. Great, good answer. Um, what can the association do to help maintain or improve property values? I think the greatest issue on maintaining property values is compliance and careful analysis and observation of our common areas. What are we offering to our residents to keep us viable and at the top of the planned community? And hand in hand with that is what our residents are doing to improve their individual properties, which is a great part of our visual aesthetic. Okay, and can you tell me in your opinion, in what area or areas does the GCA Board of Directors need to improve? Greyhawk has a unique governance paradigm that is truly unique, and I'm proud to say that I was instrumental in helping start that many years ago, and that's the committee process. The committee process is a way that the residents from the ground up develop the agenda that the board finally addresses. And I think the board needs to discover ways to involve more people in our board meetings, especially in the beginning section where residents are encouraged to communicate with the board and to encourage committee participation by residents as a way of learning about how this unique governance program works and how they can be an active part of the work that the board does. It is not a top-down operation and we partner with a wonderful management company, but originally it is a ground up where the residents have the ideas and communicate to the committees who communicate to the board, who communicate to the management company. That's vitally important. Thank you. In what way do you think you can enhance the board? Well, perhaps first and foremost is eight years of experience on the board in the past. I've been gone for about seven years from board active participation, but I have still been on committees during that time. And I'm now at a place where I can devote more volunteer hours to the board. And I um, hope that that experience informs my decision making. I also, from my professional work, bring skills and expertise in board development in volunteer recruitment. And I think those are very, very important as we combine as residents to help our community grow and stay the wonderful place it is. Okay, and now for our last question. Do you think that you are capable of taking action that is beneficial to the community as a whole, even if you personally do not agree? Yes, my decision-making foundation is fairness in process. And it's very important to me that the process is fair and equally applied in all situations. And I think once the process is fair, then a good decision comes out of all deliberation 
between residents, individual issues, board members, various committees. So that process requires us to listen carefully and participate faithfully to reach good decisions that are the best for all. Great. Thank you so much, Don. You're welcome. Thank you.